In this video, we're going to look at radio waves, and we'll see what the different types are, and how each of them are used for communication. Radio waves are part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and they have the longest wavelength and the lowest frequency of all of the electromagnetic waves. The reason that we call this whole spectrum electromagnetic is that they're made up of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. You don't really need to understand what this means. You just need to know that we can generate them using electricity in the form of an alternating current, because alternating currents are made up of oscillating charges. To do this for radio waves, we use a device called a transmitter, which is normally connected to an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope allows us to see the frequency of the alternating current that we're using, because we can see the frequency of the wave on the screen. And the reason we care so much about the frequency is that it's the frequency of the alternating current that determines the frequency of the wave that we're going to produce. Once the radio wave has been generated, we can detect it again by using a different device called a receiver which absorbs the energy and generates another alternating current, which it displays on another oscilloscope. The key point to understand here is that the frequency of this alternating current that it produces is exactly the same as the frequency we used to generate the radio wave in the first place. This concept effectively allows us to transfer information because, for example, if we wanted to communicate the number 800, we would just generate a wave that has a frequency of 800 hertz. And then anybody with a receiver could interpret it as 800. So we've effectively transferred the number 800 using alternating currents and radio waves. And the cool thing is that we can use this basic method to transfer information of pretty much any kind not just basic numbers. In fact, the main use of radio waves is for communication, and there are three types that you need to know about. Long wave, short wave, and very short wave. Long wave radio waves can be transmitted huge distances, like from London to Singapore without having to interact with anything along the way. This is because they diffract, or bend, around the curved surface of the Earth. So they're great for long-range communication. Short-wave radio signals can also travel long distances, but they're not able to curve around the Earth. Instead, they're reflected from the ionosphere which is an electrically charged layer of the Earth's upper atmosphere. So by bouncing back and forth repeatedly, they can cover long distances. Shortwave radio can also be used to send data over short distances though, like for Bluetooth in your phone. The last type are very short radio waves, which are used for TV and FM radio. And these ones have to travel directly from the transmitter to your receiver, which is why you don't always get a great radio signal when you're in the car, because surrounding structures like hills and tunnels can get in the way of that direct transmission. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.